way too hard. What's going on, doggies? And welcome back <laughs> to another video. All right, so what are we doing right now? Right now, I am on a mission to find dry coconuts. I'm driving around the island looking for coconuts exactly like this. Because this morning, I went out fishing and it was a hell morning. The most amazing sunrise, the noodle rod got a fish, the big rod got a fish, and that means I'm on my way to go start a fire and cook up one of the best feeds I've probably ever cooked. So, I'm trying to find coconuts, and it's a mission. It's not a mission, but I need to find the dry ones. <laughs> This is exactly what we need. That is what we're gonna smoke our fish on, or cook our fish on. Fill up our basket with these bad boys, and we'll head down the beach. Oh, this fish is gonna taste so good. Oi, how good is this, right? So I was just riding along that track and I had that fish in my backpack and that fish has been like leaking fish juices all the way down my back, down my crack, that whole ride. So I got the fish out of my backpack and I put it into the basket of the bike. And as I stopped, this beautiful lady come up to me and she's like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm gonna go cook a fish down the beach. And she's like, oh, how are you cooking the fish? I was like, I wanna grill it, but I don't know, I'm gonna find something. She runs into her kitchen comes out and gives me a grill, man. Here's a sneak peek of the fish we're gonna cook. But look at this, dude. She gave me a grill. It's pretty bloody dirty. But I mean, how good is that? I'm obviously gonna go give it back to her later on, but that is, that's why I love islands. That's why I love the island life so much. Like that would never ever happen in a city somewhere. Beautiful lady. Probably the best views for a kitchen ever. I reckon we'll make this the fire pit. Look at this mate, it's, it's made for it. Here's the coconuts that we found. And I'll show you guys the fish in just a minute. Yeah, that's the party starter. Look at that. Hey. Little bit of oxygen. Get that oxygen under there. And that is it. Yeah, more coconut, baby. This is going to be good. All right, so we're gonna want this fire to be a big bed of coals because we're gonna cook this fish and it is gonna taste bloody good. So while that fire gets down, gets all juicy, gets all coaly, I'll roll those clips from the Liberty. I'll roll those clips on from this morning. It was a sick day and then we'll come back here and we'll grill this fish. It's gonna be bloody good. Yeah, doggies, enjoy.
two best things to start a day, coffee and the noodle rod. And I've got both of them right now. I've got the noodle rod, just had a coffee, and um, I'm excited to start this day. There's heaps of little fish busting up on the surface, so we've got the legendary noodle rod out with a tiny little seven gram jig. I'm gonna cast this around, see if we can get some fish, and then maybe later we'll see if we can get some bigger fish, GTs or whatever. Best way to start a day. There are fish busting up all around us here, but they're like really small. There are so many fish. All you can hear is boom, boom, boom. Little jig. Surely it's gonna get hit soon. I just wanna hear the noodle rod screaming. The noodle rods on. More. So the fish on the surface, they were not feeding. So I just dropped my jig down. I think it's like probably 40 to 50 meters here. Boy, lovely little fish. So this is a chogo chogo. <laughs> Look at that little fella. He just belted that, belted that jig. Chogo chogo. Look at the gob on him. Look at the colors on that little fella, eh? Beautiful little fish. I thought it was baby trapali. Captain's on. <laughs> Oi, monster. Monster of fish. It's like goatfish. Yeah. All right, I'm having a slight change of plans. What I want to do now, the captain just got a beautiful little trevally. It's like the perfect size to put on a fire. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this big gear away, get the little noodle rod out. If I can get myself one trevally, that I'm sorted. Then we can go in and we can start a fire, cook up a little feed. That is the best thing to do ever. So I'm gonna get the noodle rod back out. Jig, 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 try to get a little trevally. And then, um, yeah, we'll go back to the popper. But um, I really wanna put a fish on the fire this hour. So this is that little trevally the captain just got. Something like this is gonna be so good on the fire. So I'm gonna get the noodle rod out there. Try to get one of these. If I can get one of these, spend the rest of the day popping big fish, but that thing's gonna taste so good. I just need to get my own. <laughs> and it got smoke. What is this? Hey, look here. The biggest ugliest fish of the sea. Watch this. <laughs> This thing is similar to a long tom, except its mouth only goes to there. Such a weird looking fish. Look at the colors in him, but. Epic looking fish. <laughs> See you later, pencil fish. Whoosh. Hey. Off he goes. All right, we've finally got a fish on. It's only a little one, but we got a fish. Come on, come on. Oh, that scared the shit out of me, boy. Just came up and boofed that popper. Yeah, it's not big. Whew. Super shallow here. What is it? Yeah, Ah, bluefin. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful color. Lovely fish. There we go, doggies. We've got the fish for the fire. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. We just throw away one time. There he is. Beautiful little bluefin trevally. This is probably one of the most beautiful fish. Look at those iridescent blue colors on his spine there. So sick, man. This is like the perfect eating size. It's not too big, not too small. Lovely fish. I'm done, this is all we need. Beautiful. Thank you, baby. Run! <laughs> Woo! 
right, here she is. So there's the fish we got today. Lovely little specimen. I'm pretty stoked we got this because otherwise I'd be eating that tiny little red fish. But um, yeah, this is going to taste absolutely beautiful. So I've just scaled it, taken the guts out. Now all we're going to do is put a couple of slices in it. This is going to be my chopping board, I reckon. I'm going to put a couple of slices in him here. It's just going to make it cook a little bit quicker on the fire. You should see how good our coconut coals are. They are perfect. So the fish looks like that. It's going to cook quicker. Put a little bit of salt and garlic in there. <laughs> All right, so without getting sand everywhere, we're going to put our fish in here. It doesn't even fit inside, mate. Oh, look at this. So that's what we're left with. This is going to be absolutely beautiful, I reckon. I'm so pumped to eat this. This is what the fish looks like. And she is going straight on the coconut fire right now. So I've just made a table out of, um, I don't know, a coconut, a bit of bamboo, and a bit of wood that I found. So here's our fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm gonna put him here. And I have a couple of secret ingredients with me. So we've got garlic, a lime, two tomatoes. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but I'm going to maybe stuff it in its stomach and then we'll try to make a sauce or... Man, I've got no idea what we're going to do, but that fire is starting to look really good. And that fish, that's looking even better. So maybe we'll make a sauce or a... There goes the lime. I don't know. We'll see if we can make something out of this. Give me five minutes and I'll be back. All right, this is what we're gonna do. These ingredients are going inside there. So first of all, I'll do that. Then I'm gonna cut more garlic, stick it inside these slices, maybe little bits of um, salt and uh, lime. Then I'm just gonna close it up, bang it on there, and then after I do that, we'll try to make a sauce. What are we gonna go? We've got a little bit of lime there, a little bit of lime. Bang that tomato in. Bang that garlic. Oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing. Mix it up. Boy, my table's about to go. So is the camera. We're all good. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get the rest of it in there. Look at this. Close that up. Stick the garlic in here and we'll bang it straight on there. How's this fish gonna fit on here? Let's have a look at this. Look at that. That is making my mouth water already. Pumping out the heat. Look at this. Are you joking? I'm the only person on the beach right now. This is absolute paradise. My girlfriend just popped down about 20 minutes ago. She dropped off rice, all the ingredients you just saw, and then she just kept riding around the island. I think she's taking photos of something, probably turtles again. But, um, man, this is what I live for. This is so sick. A lot of you guys have been asking, am I going to bring out t-shirts? Am I going to bring out merch? All right, wait there. I'm in the process. I've got one shirt to show you. And here's the first one. So I've made, I've made a heap of shirts. I've got like different designs and stuff made, but I've just been testing fabrics. I've actually been testing fabrics for like three months. If you watch my videos, I just wear plain black shirts and they're all shirts that I've been trying. Man, there is some shit stuff out there. Like you wash it, it shrinks, but this thing, You've watched it a million times, it doesn't shrink, super light for like this kind of thing that I do and man, it's just an all round good shirt. So I reckon this long sleeve shirt so far is the one. Yeah doggies, fishing team. It's just dolphin fish, best fish in the world if you ask me for catching, jumping and 
just a good shirt, man. It's like really good quality. I've got some banging hats on the way. So for everyone who's asking, there is merch coming, but I just want it to be like really good. I don't want it to be like some Chinese shit that you buy and you wear and it falls apart. It's got to last. It's got to last fishing. It's got to last the sun. You guys know, man. Anyway, merch is coming very soon. Look at this. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. So we'll go check on our fish, see how she's going. It's amazing how much heat comes out of these coconuts, eh? Oh, she's pumping along. Wow, it's still really hot. Like that's underneath there, that's not much, but. Yeah, she's hot. That's epic. Should we have a look at the other side? Oh, don't drop it. Oh. Stop it. It's probably one of the best things I've cooked, I reckon. Got me a little stick here. Just to keep it all level. I'm happy with that. And here's all the stuff that my girlfriend brought. Two bags of rice, because I think she's going to come back when she's done her photos. Oh, wow. One full of ants. No! This is my sun bowl. I love chili. And it's full of ants. It's not full of ants, but they're trying to get in there. What, man? Look at them. Look at this. You've come back at the right time, haven't you? I've got a secret rice that you can have. Secret rice? Yeah, it's a really tasty one full of not, nothing. Full of what? Nothing. <laughs> Look at this. That looks incredible. You having the first taste on me? Ew. Wow. How is it? Oh, you can fully taste the garlic. Yeah? That's really good. This is your bit. Dun, da, 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 da. It's so good. And it's so hot. Go, what do you think? Mm, I'm sure I am. <laughs> it's so good. Mm -hmm. Really good flavor. Delicious, huh? Good cooking. Oh, that's hot. Look at this. Look at that. All right, I didn't even get the rice out. Look at the horse behind you. Huh. And there's a horse on the beach. It's all happening. All right, doggies, thank you for watching. That's it from us. Smash that subscribe button if you like videos like this, and um, we'll see you in the next one. Ow! So this is how we're actually eating our food. <laughs> We've got a shell with fish, rice, another shell with a chili. Another show with tomatoes, and the other side of the fish is cooking. Life is good. <laughs>